Boy, howdy, this has been a busy Saturday. I have been sitting in front of the computer since 9 o'clock this morning and it is now 4.30. <laughs> Jeez Louise, this partnership stuff is hard. I have to go through and like give them almost like a legal description of every video that I want them to put ads on. Whew, that takes some memory right there. So I wanted to get you guys' opinion on something, right? So... I don't know if you guys saw this, but I posted a video with the process of Jen getting her hair dyed and cut and all that other stuff. And as soon as it was up, bam, ads on it, right? I put it up in the middle of the day on a Saturday. But I think the video from Friday night still doesn't have ads on it, which is weird to me. Which makes me think that if I post something in the middle of the day, it will get ads quicker. Well, let me propose something to you guys. I can upload at night not submit for ads until the middle of the day the next day and not make it public until the middle of the day next day so that the quality will be 100% when you guys see it right away. I don't know, this is just, just free form talking. Me and you, we're having a conversation, trying to figure this whole partnership thing out as we go. No, oh, what a way to end the day. We have to try to figure out what's wrong with this engine so we can go out on the boat. Do you guys ever want to know how to hotwire a boat? <laughs> Check this out. You ready? And if you stick a, a wrench in here... <laughs> Don't ask me how I know that. If you guys ever wondered what I love, there's like a party going on up there. And I'm down here looking at this engine. Because that's what I like to do. Alright, let's hotwire this. Hotwire! Okay, so now we just need... Uh, something to screw this in here and that in there. And we're done. We're done. We now officially have the boat running without the key working at all. <laughs> well, this key is working, but we got some wires running in. I think it's okay that I was out here hot wiring this engine because there are people That's playing guitar and like, being a little bit ridiculous up there. But we're gonna take this thing for a test drive and see if the hot wire actually works. I'm taping you. Hot wire. Where? Officially, we are <laughs> criminals. Ooh, we're stealing this you boat. It it's stolen. I like how you have a, a pipe blue ribbon in your hand. Shit this is care. a hot boat, baby. <laughs> all right, you ready? Yeah. Ready. Here's the should, process. I, should I it's, tape it all? Oh yeah, here's the process. Okay. This right here, you gotta turn that this on. This is the hot wire. Okay. I don't even think I can turn it on. Somebody else has to do the special work for me. Oh, oh magic fingers. All. It's a special thing that's yeah. retarded. There it goes. We're all right. On. It's We're on. on. All right. That key Next is up. on. That stays down there. Okay. That key is, doesn't and matter. Then, okay. Key, it, it, we can turn that off. It doesn't matter. Okay. And then we Hello, take, Jessica. Hello. Take, Hello. We, Look what the magic thing is. We take is. the knife. Take okay. the special We're knife. Okay, the knife. Stick it in there. That's not a knife. Oh my Fire god. Up. What? Really? Fire it up. What the heck? The That's and crazy. Right. And then we go for a boat ride. Should we not sit back here, though? No, why not? Is it solar power? Yeah. The boat is now officially solar powered. What the That's heck? what we're running off of. Hydrogen and solar. This is so pretty. Oh, I thought I lost. That's right, guys. I have officially hot wired this boat Bye. with a little bit of help, of course. Cheers. But hey, guys, we got the boat working. Yeah. See, you See you later. We're going back to the future. Yeah. We use the flux capacitor. Flux capacitor. Bye, buddy. Ooh, a private beach. We should go to there. I got very distracted. I was carrying the wakeboard down to the boat and I had to drop it real quick because look at that. Wow, wow, we are. You look at I like Buddy. He's a little dog that looks like a little human. Whoa, are you going to ride back here with me? Oh, okay, you're going to sit on me. Sit, bud. Thank you. He's actually sitting on my shoulder. This is my dog parrot and he is riding the boat on my shoulder and he will be saying, I'm a dog. Then ride the big one. Let see what the binding is like. That's actually... Tim's getting on the board. Hey, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I can do this. Hey, you don't mind if we ride your board. Hey, is there another life vest? Let me have that one behind you there, Valerie. Um, ducks! Hey, hey Jen, are you still filming right now? Or is these ducks are... Yeah, I do. Seven o'clock. That's the kind of boat that I want. What happened? 
That's the kind of boat that you want? In the bath? Stop! You're telling me to film 10,000 things. Look at the birds! I can't. I'm going to drop your camera. Please don't drop my camera. I don't want to drop it. That's why I'm not filming everything you're pointing at. This baby, that's exactly what it is. Baby. What? Love you. Love you too. Hey guys, how's it going? Well, it's 10.44, and we just had a really awkward situation pop up during the night. I actually sprained my ankle, and I'll show it to you guys when we get back home, or when I get back home. I'm going upstairs up to the, the McDonald's. We never actually had any dinner beside before we went to this crazy, crazy <laughs> wakeboarding party where you guys saw me doing a little bit of wakeboarding. Even though it was like dark outside, I decided to try to jump the wake. I don't even know if we have this on video or not, but the last jump that I made, I leaned back just a little bit too far, and then I ended up spraining my ankle, and it is swollen. Like, it's big. And so, we ended up not recording very much because, one, I was trying to deal with my swollen, sprained ankle. <laughs> you guys remember how we talked about this? How I was like, oh no, what happens if I end up hurting myself really bad and I have to go to the hospital. Well, I didn't have to go to the hospital tonight, but still, I hurt myself pretty bad. It's like very hard for me to walk right now. And like when it happened, I was like, oh, you know, that wasn't so bad. It hurt a little bit, but then I was like getting out of the wakeboard. And if you guys don't know what a wakeboard is, it's pretty awesome. It's kind of like surfing, but behind the boat, you're getting towed and you're jumping over top of the wakes and everything. But boy, did it hurt. I landed on that second jump and I was like, whoa, and I got out of the wakeboard real quick and I got into the boat and I kind of sat there for a second and I was like, wow, my ankle really hurts. The funny story is that this has happened to me one time before. One night in the house that I'm living in right now. All right, let me explain a little something to you guys. The house that I'm living in right now happens to be a friend of me and Jen's mom's house. She is renting it to us, but when me and Jen were younger, we used to go over to this girl, Jen's friend and my friend, we used to go over to her house and we would spend the night there, not spend, I wouldn't spend the night, Jen would spend the night there. They, they were really good friends. They've known each other since middle school. And that's how we ended up getting the house and being able to rent the house from the mom. And so one night, this girl, her name was Cassie, by the way, she was leaving for college. And so she threw this big old extravaganza that was like her, finally, I'm leaving for college type extravaganza. All right, I'm at McDonald's. Let me get this out really quick. So I was, on, I was at the house, right, celebrating Cassie's leaving for college, right? And we had, you know, been hanging out all night. Oh, time to leave. Started going down the stairs, and the stairs go like this. They go down, and there's a landing, and they turn the corner and go back down. And I was like, okay, let me go down these stairs. And I make it down the down the first set of stairs, and I'm like, okay, here's the landing. But it was dark outside, right? Dark outside, dark in the stairway. And I was like, let me make it down this stairway. And I thought I was at the landing, so I was like, all right, let me turn to the left to turn around and head back down the stairs. No, I was not at the landing. There was one more step. So I turned my foot, and then I made what I thought was a step forward, but no, it was a step down. And so my foot went forward and at an angle, and I thought I was gonna land on solid ground, but no, I put all my weight forward, and wah, boy, did I fall down. <laughs> Popped my ankle, and it went, my foot stayed still, and my ankle turned sideways, bam, hit the ground. <laughs> and my ankle actually made this noise like, bam, hit the ground, and I was like, whoa, and I fell down, laying on the ground and everything, and I looked, at the, looked up the stairs, looked down the stairs, looked up the stairs to where I came, looked back down the stairs to where I was leaving to, and I was like, whoa. What should I do? I had actually had this moment where I was like, uh, should I go back up there? Should I call somebody to come like check on me? Or should I try to leave and go home? And I actually like stood up and I was like, okay, I think I can make it home. And I started walking down the stairs and I was like, I was okay, got in my truck. It was a Jeep that was a standard shift. So I had to push the clutch and everything, push with the accelerator and I was doing good. Made it home, no problem, didn't hurt that much. Fell asleep, next morning I woke up, didn't feel a thing, threw my foot out of bed, tried to step on it and just fell flat on my face because it hurt so bad. And it was huge and black and blue and I just happened to know a podiatrist and they're like, oh yeah, you sprained your ankle really bad. And I was like, oh, great. So I was in like a, a sprained up wrap for the longest time. 
And that's sort of what it feels like happened tonight on the wakeboard because my ankle hurts really bad. Ooh, this is grinding my gears. The lady at McDonald's is talking on her cell phone instead of helping me. All right, you guys ready to see it? Bandit's smelling it right now. Here it is. Ah, oh, can you guys see the difference between my two? Bandit, watch out, they're trying to look at my crazy swollen ankle. Oh, my whole foot's all swollen too, how fun. I think it's the same ankle that I did before. Not 100% sure, but I think it is. Feels like it, it would make sense because I was coming down the stairs this way and then I was turning to the left and I was like, bloop, timber. Get it, timber? It's been a good Saturday. It was really hectic in the first part and then it turned into straight crazy in the second part. So I'll see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price. I'm gonna go hobble over to the map now. tonight we got Doug K and he's from Tampa this is his black pin right here there's your black pin in Tampa we actually met Doug at the Orlando YouTube gathering he's one of the people that found Charles Trippy's uh, moo cow from Chick-fil-a that says I heart CTFXE we have I Josh subscribed from Queensland Australia close to Brisbane there's your yellow pin right there you guys, I have to forgive the shakiness. I'm like leaning on one foot here because this one's all swolt. <laughs> so I'm like all, whoa, trying to maintain balance. We got Aliana Sweeney TV from Maynooth, Ireland in the county of Kildare. I think I gave you this yellow pin, right? Ooh, it's very hard to keep your balance when you're only on one foot for most of the time. 